Hey everybody, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. I thought I would do a quick tip on how to get rid of the smudges on a background using the mixer brush. So what I do is I'll go and I'll grab my mixer brush, the keyboard shortcut is N, and go to the very bottom of this list. It's very wet, heavy mix. And what this does is Photoshop treats it like it's a canvas full of wet paint. So when you brush across, all the paint basically just smears. And this basically will just uh, blend in your footprints and your marks and all that stuff all together as one uh, general color. Um, you can actually pull in blue from one side if you need to or white. It's kind of just like basically if you're working with uh, wet paint. So it works best on solid color backgrounds. Um, mostly white is what I found works best. Uh, and it works on select things, maybe not everything, but um, when it does work, it's pretty awesome and it's pretty quick and very handy to use. So basically, you'll want to try and you just go with the grain or with the uh, um, any colors or, or strokes that are going on. Because if you go across, then you'll start blending and creating weird uh, marks. So I'm going to go through and just quickly paint a few of these. Um, this works good. These uh, shadows are really soft, so it works really good in situations like that. Um, if we're harder shadows or you needed the look of a harder shadow, you probably wouldn't want to use this technique. But if your shadows are really soft and kind of under undefined, then this works great because you can just paint along the line of the shadow. Um, and then I'm going to go over here. You can get rid of even like uh, there's a tear in the paper here. Uh, and then you can even blend. I've clone stamped out a few things over here. And you can go through and blend uh, the colors even better. Like if I'm going to take this brighter area from the hair and pull it into this darker area as a gradient. I can kind of just keep pulling through, brush through here, brush it back up. Uh, if you're a painter, you probably know a lot of this technique. Um, you can even kind of keep creating your lines across like the uh, curve of the background. And then right here, I would just bring in the white again to make it a white background. So if you want to like, there's a darker spot here you can see, I would paint down across that if I wanted to kind of blend that in, kind of like um, blend that shadow down, and then you paint back through, um, just kind of brushing that in, mixing it all, to get all together. And uh, here's kind of just a uh, quick, quick uh, overview of how to do it, and I'll show you the before and after. So that's, that's how it looks. Um, just a nice, fast way of getting rid of the... Uh, of getting rid of the smudge marks and all that stuff on a white backdrop. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them and thanks for watching.